Now at five, political leaders react after a GOP canvasser with former white supremacist ties is attacked. He was a victim of a crime. By the way, I think he's rejected all those things. The Democratic Party criticizing Senator Marco Rubio and the Republican Party for not distancing themselves from him. He has a well-documented history of hatred and bigotry that's been well-documented for years. The Republican Party knew who they were hiring when they decided to make Christopher Monzon a part of their staff. Tonight, both parties give their stance. Well, the attack happened last weekend in Hialeah. Two people are charged in the beating. CBS 4's Peter Dench joins us from the neighborhood where the crime happened. And Peter, there was quite a sharp exchange of comments. That's right, Lauren and Elliot. First off, members of the Florida Democratic Party said that they condemned the attack on Christopher Monzon as he was passing out flyers. They say no one should have to endure something like that. But they also said that both the Republican Party and Senator Marco Rubio should be distancing themselves from Monzon. Members of the Florida Democratic Party say they are truly sorry about the attack on Christopher Monzon while he was passing out flyers for Senator Marco Rubio and Governor Ron DeSantis, but they feel Monzon's past should be publicized. He has a well-documented history of hatred and bigotry that's been well-documented for years. The Republican Party knew who they were hiring when they decided to make Christopher Monzon a part of their staff. He is a known member of the white supremacist organization, Florida League of the South, a documented hate group. Marco Rubio has failed to condemn Monzon and even defended him this week. And we want you to ask the questions of why. In 2017, Monzon was arrested in Hollywood after getting heated in a protest about changing the names of streets named for Confederate generals. So why are you playing footsie? with known white supremacists and racists, your family history recognizes that when some of us are not safe, none of us are safe. I think it's shameful that you're focused on the victim and not on the aggressor. Senator Marco Rubio says the criticism is not fair. He was a victim of a crime. By the way, I think he's rejected all those things. And that's what we want people that have those views to do, to change their minds and reject it and walk away from it. But he was a victim of a felony. It's a crime. So I don't know what this young man did in his past. He's rejected it. But I'll tell you this, it's a crime. And we should be focused on these two thugs who attacked him in a felonious attack. It's OK to shame and attack a victim when the victim is a conservative. It's disgusting. It's grotesque. Police said that Christopher Monzon was knocked to the ground and punched and kicked in the head. His father told me that he has been released from the hospital just today and is at home resting.